Hello and welcome to Total War Warhammer 3. Now, this is definitely something that I very much enjoy. Obviously, if you've seen any of my Warsword Conquest series in Warband, and that is obviously Mountain Blade Warband, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then obviously there you go, that's what it is. Anyway, point is, I very much enjoy the world of Warhammer Fantasy. I'm just really really bad at Total War games, and as a result I have very little experience in them, and well, that means that we're going to be playing the prologue here. And, as you can see up at the top here, even seasoned generals will gain from experiencing the rich narrative. And if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. I'm pretty sure if you're already a fan of Total War, you've either already added this to your Steam wishlist, or you've already purchased it. Anyway, let's play the prologue. Your adventure begins here. Ursun, the bear god of Kislev, is silent. Without the great bear's benevolence, the motherland freezes and its people suffer. Become the Kislevite prince sent north by the Ice Queen on the ultimate quest. This prologue to the Realm of Chaos campaign is a new Total War experience, perfect for brand new players and those requiring a refresher course on the mechanics of the game. And as a result, you have a wide variety of different things that you can do here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Kislev, our motherland, is dying. A dark winter devours our fairer seasons. It has been custom for our god, Ursan, the great bear, to break each winter with his roar. Yet, for seven long years, he has fallen into silence. So the ice thickens. Our prayers go unanswered. The people suffer. The Queen has sent me to investigate, to lead an expedition in search of Orson. I am to make contact with our northernmost outpost, Dervingar. It was there, on the edge of the Chaos Wastes. Our god's voice was last heard. Let their courage be our courage. Our journey has been long and perilous. The dead outnumber the living. We are lost. We are alone. Your orders, Prince Yuri. Fuel for the fires. Extra rations for the wounded. Sir, this expedition has failed. We must turn south, head back to Kislev. But we've come so far. We push north, find Dervingard. It's madness! We cannot survive wandering the Chaos Wastes like beggars! Yuri, brother, we must not abandon our duty. The people of Kislev depend on us. You'll have my decision by dawn. Ursan, each day I pray, but you do not answer. This is our darkest night. Can you not see Kislev suffering? Help us! Show me a sign! Answer me! Kislev is lost. Son of Kislev, I answer in my time of need. Ursan! I wake in darkness, bound in shadow. Guide me! I can save you! I am weak, so you alone shall hear my voice. I will lead you to Dervingard. Your first step to finding me. Follow my voice. We move north. You have 
led your kin through the mountain pass. The winds of the chaos wastes howl with unmatched fury. Journey north and seek respite. Ooh, all right. Okay, I am very much looking forward to this. It's been a while since I've played a Total War game, so do bear that in mind. I am very much a novice when it comes to this franchise of games, and uh, gotta say, I'm kind of sad about that, to be honest. I, for some reason, just have a really hard time learning these kinds of games, so this prologue hopefully will do a really nice job of kind of imparting a little bit of knowledge to me, and maybe then I'm going to become more of a uh, <laughs> slightly better player mm -hmm. yes anyway let's continue onward and uh, we're going to need to move north i assume how, how do we do that push north find shelter yes indeed okay press this button to uh, blah, pr press this button again to display the advice all right well yeah i mean that's that's perfectly yuri. fine okay so select prince yuri that's exactly yes. what we've done and then place the banner and left click yes there we go move the cursor to a point and right click to move yeah as you might expect from most strategy games this bar shows how far yuri can move once the bar is empty yuri cannot move any further you can refill it by ending your turn okay good to know and we can continue to move north let's do it we found supplies in the snow from Dervingard. Dervingard? How did they get here? Someone left in a hurry, carried what they could. We thank Orson. They will be needed. We can wholeheartedly assume that Dervingard was attacked by something, and indeed Ursun was also attacked as well. Oh dear. Anyway, this shows your treasury, which contains your accumulated wealth. We have 7,000 at the moment. Let's end the turn right now. Uh, I, yeah, I did click on it. Okay, never mind. All right, all right. Let me just... Yeah, I'm just going to take my time a little we bit here, be because cautious. you never know. Sometimes I do tend to rush through there. things, and then I miss a very important piece of information. And that is obviously going to be very detrimental to our overall success. So let me try and um, be a little bit more careful about things like that. Anyway, you can remind yourself of your ongoing missions at any time by pressing this button. And obviously you can see here we need to journey north. If you want to learn more about a panel, then look out for this button, which is the information button. Press it now for a more in-depth... Oh, wow. Okay, they've really they've really gone um, pretty far with this. I, I, I quite like this, obviously. For someone like me, this is going to be very, very useful. Anyway, we need to find Ursun to win the campaign. Shorter term missions are listed here. Okay, good to know. If you pin a mission by pressing this button, it will appear here. Hover, hover over the banner to see more information. Okay, that's good to know. All right. And now we're just going to continue moving. Yuri, up ahead. Some kind of shelter. Send word, Garrick. We rest there. All right, so we can change the height of our camera, as you can see right there with the mouse button, and obviously you can move around with WASD and all that stuff. What I am wondering about is how to tilt the camera, and I'm talking about how to move the camera, uh, or should we say rotate it? That's what I'm talking about. I want to rotate the camera, but apparently I cannot do that for some reason. Okay, so let's move in there, and we have discovered a refuge. Let us now occupy it. There we go. All right. Fantastic. You have found respite. Together, we can overcome the trials ahead. Our journey has just begun. Indeed. Our journey has just begun. Okay. So we now have a little bit of extra cash as a result of that too. The shelter is not enough. Build a camp. Then we can rest. Okay, build the Kislev camp. So where is the building menu? Left click on the settlement, to open the settlement panel. Aha, there it is. Okay, and then we can do this. So that is going to give us income, it's going to give us growth, and it's also going to give us one construction slot as well. So this is obviously very important for us. Even. But the camp will take time. And when there's nothing left to do, obviously, we end the turn. And is there a way that I can end the turn otherwise? Yeah, I have to press enter or numpad enter. Oh, okay. That's, mm, I feel like that. Can I rebind that? Because I, it feels a little bit out of the way for me. But oh, well, it, it's all right. Sorry. A small campsite where Kislevites can eke out an existence against the ravages of the chaos wastes. There we go. 
All right, the so that is us. now complete. But what of our supplies? We keep them safe. Build a storehouse. Build a storehouse. All right, okay, we're going to do that as well. So there's the storehouse. We're going to get that done, and then we can end the turn once again. Valuable stores and provisions for feeding the expedition are placed here and used to barter, if Yuri can bear to part with them. Is that is that a pun? Is that a pun right there? Because obviously Azun is a is a bear. If if Yuri can bear to part with, uh, I am yeah, yeah. okay. I'll, I'll show myself out. The storehouse is ready. The supplies are safe. Your new building increases the amount of income this settlement generates. Yeah, due to the trading, I suppose, as well. Anyway, you can view your total income here next to your treasury. So we are currently gaining 2,000 in cash, I assume, every single turn. Next turn, your treasury, will, yes, indeed, will increase by that income value. One way to increase your income is to create more buildings. Ready, your warriors. Our sons and daughters cry out and flee in terror. The spilling of their blood must be prevented. All right, so we're going to be gaining Cartographer from completing this mission, and that is going to give us a speed increase of 5%. Okay, so rescue the beacon. So what we now need to do is I need to select my Lord's Banner and then move north. Okay, so let's go ahead and Search do that. for our kin fleeing south. We found them traveling the hidden trails to avoid open ground. Some had left Irvingard. They said the stronghold had fallen, that its commander, the boyer Slavin Kearns, had abandoned his post. Yet others fled from a smaller fort they called the Beacon. They spoke of a tribal chief who thirsted for bloodshed. Skolden, the wolf of Dervingard. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We... We actually get a choice? Oh, okay, okay. This is this is this is very interesting. Okay, so go to the beacon to save Kislevite, uh, Kislevite lives above all else, or we can punish the tribal chief. I'm gonna save the innocent. There we go. And we have now gained three leadership. I have no idea what that means. Um but apparently that's good, I guess. I don't know. All right, so we can now end the turn. You should equip your armor before heading north. Press this button to view more details about Yuri himself. Okay, so it's very much also RPG-esque. And as I said before, I am very, very beginner when it comes to Total War, uh, especially the most recent games so yeah just bear that in mind and if, if you are actually i should have said this at the very start but if you are looking for a, a more experienced playthrough of this game or if you're looking for a player that is no doubt more experienced with the franchise as a whole then you probably want to go elsewhere i'm just giving you uh just giving you a warning right now i mean i should have said that at the start as i said anyway your inventory is displayed here left click to equip it on him there we go that was easy enough Followers are a type of ancillary and must be equipped like items. Click here to view them. Okay, so we have an orthodoxy pastor here. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's that's perfectly fine. Great, okay, so let's continue to move forward. And there we have it. We found it. I see the beacon. The fort is under attack. The enemy carry the flag of the wolf. It must be scolded. I, you know what? I can't believe that they're actually attacking their own people. I mean, these are all Kislev people, right? Are they are they not all Kislev? That there must be like a civil war going on or something like that. Okay, so move your cursor over Skold and right-click on him. Okay, yep, let's do it. Battle draws near. Our soldiers are ready. We see the enemy. The wolf leads an army of Northmen. We're eager to fight. Bring us to battle. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mr. Lieutenant Person Garrick, or whatever your name is, what are you actually doing right here? Because he literally just said to me that I can win this battle. Do you think I can win this battle? It feels to me like I'm outnumbered significantly. I mean, you can see all these guys right here, right? I mean, is it just me? <laughs> it feels 
Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I am, I, I think I am quite correct in thinking that we are at a disadvantage here because this guy has so many more units, but maybe our unit quality is much better, but, um, oh, it's actually a siege. Oh, it might be a siege, so we might be the defense or something like that. So that might actually make a difference. Okay, never mind. I thought it was a field battle. Attack. Kislevites loyal to the motherland are within. Our army is small, but we can sway the battle if we are as wise as Ursan. We approach from the south, while Skolden's northmen assault the barricades. Their backs are to us. We should take advantage. Oh, he, he basically just explained everything that I was questioning. Okay, good, good. Thank you very much. I mean, obviously, this is a tutorial. I'm not actually questioning how, you know, how we're going to win this or anything like that. But in a normal situation, I was basically just kind of trying to say, hey, in a normal situation, what am I supposed to do here? You know what I mean? And obviously, because I am indeed a novice in this game, I would kind of like to ask those questions at least to myself in the moment to basically self-reflect and and kind of ask that important question. Has been long, but we are ready. Fellow Ungols, we are of Kislev. Show these cowardly dogs what that means. They hunger for blood. Let them taste cold steel. The beacon is under attack. See for yourself. All right. So yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, here we go. Now I can actually change how the um, how the camera is situated. Okay, that's pretty nice. I like that. All right. So we are now going to move the camera close to the marked point of interest, which is obviously over here. So. Wolf reveals himself. Cannons fire upon the defenders. When the barrage is over, his warriors will attack. Act swiftly. Yuri, the defenders need our help. We must reach them. What's that? There, in the trees. An army! Those are Kislev colors! They're allies! We must advance and combine our strength. Select your own unit in order to rejoin your forces. Where? Now issue a move order towards your troops. The soldiers are assembled and await your arrival. Follow me, Cossacks! Over there! An effective position! Your place is amongst the warriors. Your presence grants them courage before the enemy. Proceed into the valley. Select your entire army so any order is given to all. Seeking advantage! Order your units forward. Our allies have not gone far. The soldiers advance. Take this time to practice maneuvering. Remember, orders are issued only to selected units. Alright, so it looks like I cannot control our allies at the moment. So they're just going to go ahead and do whatever they want to do. I assume these guys are basically ranged units anyway. So I probably don't even need to worry about them because they're mostly going to be you know, <laughs> safely at range. I don't need to worry about them at all. But anyway, let's see what happens. Our allies fire down upon Skolden's army. His forces scatter. The allies are threatened from the rear. Up close, their bows are no match for swords and spears. Ah, looks like we have to uh, provide some kind of assistance. Let's do this. I very much... Oh, I mean, literally, hurry. Hurry our forces into battle. Let's click on this then, I guess, right? Is, is, this, is this on? Is this on now? No, yeah, no, no. That is indeed on. Okay, yeah. 
it doesn't really give me the feedback that I would require as an absolute idiot to be able to know whether they are moving fast or not. I think they are moving fast though. All right, let's attack them. Let's go. Uh, I don't even know which which way which way to go. To be honest, I don't know who to attack first. I mean, I guess I'll just leave these guys to deal with them in melee, and we'll just attack these fellows over here. Best you can. They have their backs to us. A fatal mistake. And then come our guys coming in from the back, which is really, really nice. And hopefully we're going to take very few casualties. I mean, considering we have done this flanking maneuver, I would expect it to affect the morale of the opponent quite significantly. It says flank secure. Really? Well, they're shattered, so they're running away now. All right. The enemy raised the white flag. Their troops flee. The wolf's main pack advance on the beacon. Cannons rain death. They must be destroyed. The Allies join our forces. We'll need the reach of their bows. All right, so now they've been added to our army. That's fantastic. So now... They must fall silent if we are to save the beacon. Now we must move behind them. Missile units are best employed in battle to stand back from the action of fire projectiles. Well, yeah, I mean, that would be expected. But now, let me just see. Do I have enough range? How, how, is, their, how is their range? Uh, that's the thing, I don't know. Oh, it seems pretty large, actually. Yeah, it seems pretty large. So we are going to have to destroy those cannons. So I'm going to tell my archers to destroy the cannons. The cannons are defended. Oh, actually, we probably don't even... We probably can't do that, to be honest. We probably should just tell all of our forces Order just to the deal with these guys. Line facing the enemy. Have your archers remain behind the line to protect them. Moving! Burge them! Okay, form a line. Ah... Uh, Okay, I'm actually not entirely sure how to do that. I mean, generally, I kind of know because I've played these games before, but it's still a little bit, um, shall we say, not easy to know exactly how to put them into that formation. You know what I mean? So, yeah, anyway, it seems like we are actually... <laughs> these guys are literally getting baited into my archers right now, which is actually kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, because look at this. These other guys have not even done anything. They basically just stood there and watched their allies get destroyed, which is that's pretty nice, you know, that's, that's pretty good. And my archers are now firing at them for free, pretty much. And, oh, these cannons are now being turned on us by the looks of things. Okay, I'm going to probably just try to move my archers a little bit ahead here. I'm going to tell them to fire at the second group of units. Because I think I remember there being a thing where friendly fire is definitely something you have to worry about. So I'm kind of thinking, hey, maybe I should be a bit careful of that. Okay, so now I'm going to tell my, my forces to charge in here. And maybe, should we deal with these guys? I mean, they're great sword infantry. I really don't want to go in there. But I suppose I should. I mean, we kind of outnumber them anyway. You could see there, look at that. Their, their combat strength has literally just evaporated but we are getting murdered by the cannons at the moment so i'm very much hoping get, 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 go 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 mr leader get in there yuri what are you doing there 
All right, so hopefully we'll be able to do something here. My archers, I do need to get them firing on the opponent. Oh, wow, they literally have a charge attack as well, these skull cannon things. Okay, that's kind of interesting. All right, well, these guys have run away because they ended up losing a lot of morale in the process. This thing is literally doing so much damage just by spinning around in circles. Oh, who would have expected that? Okay, well, whatever the case... Let us continue moving. Charge against these guys. This, these, these fellows are not going to really do anything at, anymore. It seems like they're way too injured or something like that. But that's fine. I don't really mind about that too much. Because we are probably going to be... Oh, ho, ho, we're probably going to be okay, he says. As this skull cannon literally just murders a whole bunch of my units. Well, technically knocks them down. I don't know whether they're actually being killed by that maneuver. But, uh, yeah, it seems to do quite a bit of damage. Can we kill this? Yeah, there we go. We finally killed that, and now we can deal with this. Is Yuri actually not attacking? Can you actually attack, sir? Ugh. I'm not entirely sure why he didn't just go ahead and attack, to be honest. I mean, maybe he needs to be told to go into a different stance or something along those lines because maybe he's in defensive stance or something i'm i'm not entirely sure yeah as you can see he's in guard mode yeah he's in guard mode at the moment and that's the reason why he was not pursuing the enemy as much as he possibly should or could have are destroyed yet scolden's army still attacks the beacon they're vulnerable from behind strike now while they're engaged All right, let's do it. Hold control while clicking to add units to the current selection. Okay, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to control A. Why not? Control A sounds like a fun, fun key bind and definitely something I'll be using because I am indeed one of those. Yes, you know. You know those kinds of people. Those kinds of people that just go, ah, strategy? What is that? You know, you know that meme of that guy looking at the butterfly and he goes... Ah, strategy. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh, yeah, very good, very good. Okay, so let us move in here. I think I'm... I think I'm going to help on the right flank. Going to help on the right flank first. I don't see a point in helping on the left flank just yet. So what we're going to do is just help over here. Try and do as much damage as possible to these guys. And then we'll help on the left flank. Because once these guys are freed up... We will hopefully be able to have more allies to help out on the left. So hopefully that's going to work. Oh, never mind. Yuri, you are Prince of Kislev. Let your kinsmen hear you roar. Fill them with Ursun's courage. Your war cry inspires your soldiers. See how their spirit is renewed. Okay, well, uh, that, that has seemingly done a pretty good job. I mean, as you might expect. And there we go, we have eliminated all of the enemies. So now we can go over here. And we can deal with these other guys. And hopefully do quite a good job of eliminating them as well now obviously that was the main point the main point was that these guys could can you get could, could, what are you serious are you okay apparently they don't want to help us apparently they don't want to help us they're just literally relaxing moving forward there for some unknown reason i don't know why they would decide to do that rather than coming over to the other flank because there are no other enemies around here, but okay. Sure, if you want to do that, then that's absolutely fine. I don't have a problem with it. The enemy are dead or scared. The beacon is safe. Many lives have been spared. The survivors look to me for leadership. I will need them, for the wolf still lurks in the shadows. Battle draws near. Our soldiers are ready. All right, so we gained some loot here as well, and we have also been able to completely destroy the enemy army. And now, 
Well, now I actually have no idea. What, what am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do now? We are eager to fight. Bring us to battle. Uh, well, I can't move the camera right now. Is this a bug? No, there we go. Okay. I just had to close it or something. I'm not entirely sure what was going on there. That was kind of weird. I think it just got stuck on that screen for a little bit of time. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode off here. If you would like to see more of the prologue with me, then obviously let me know. I would be more than happy to play more, and I am indeed going to be playing more anyway. But if you don't want to see it, then there's no point in me recording it, obviously. But if you do want to see more, then I'm very happy to, you know, experience the journey with you. And otherwise, if you'd like to check out Total War Warhammer 3, then there is a link in the description. And otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.